All right, so we're back to the room, and we got an effluent today, and Carlos said he's gonna make an elephant noise. No. <laughs> You're not? Good morning, friends. So um, it is day three on the beautiful Disney dream and we are getting ready to go up to the buffet for some food. Uh, slept in a little bit today. Um, it's just afternoon. We've been up for a little bit um, watching movies and whatnot. Um, but yeah, uh, lazy sea day so far. Uh, but we're gonna do lunch and maybe some pool stuff, uh, hot tubs, that kind of thing um, until our theater show at six. And then after that, we are maybe gonna be in a pub or something for some trivia or something maybe. Um, and then dinner. And then we'll go from there. But um, yeah, it's time to get this day officially started. We watched, what did we watch? Wreck-It Ralph? Mm -hmm. um, and before that, what was it before that? Uh, the Lion King. The Lion King, right. So we watched The Lion King. Um, I was in and out of sleep at that point. And then Wreck-It Ralph, I watched most of that. And then now we've got the Avengers uh -huh. on, um, one of them. And, uh, but we're gonna turn that off and go eat. So that's what we're up to. That's where we're at. Carlos is getting ready. Gotta brush those pearly whites. Um, but yeah, that's me, hi. <laughs> we'll talk soon. So we made our way up to deck 11 because we planned to eat at the buffet, but we walked across the pool deck and we considered riding the aqueduct again at some point, but we did notice that the line for it was pretty long, so we, you know, said we'd play that by ear. The pool deck was definitely a lot more crowded this day than the previous day because obviously this was a sea day and everyone was on board. This was also the first time we noticed how many kids were on board and we were happy that the adult-only area existed, but yeah, we made our way into Cabanas, and as far as buffets go, this is a pretty good one, so we grabbed a full spread of whatever looked good. I also noticed that they had jumbo shrimp and lobster for those of you who are into shellfish. I'm not sure if they have that every day because I didn't see it on embarkation day, but they had a whole seafood section and that was definitely the most popular part of the buffet. We grabbed a seat by the window and looked out at the crystal clear water. We were glad that we were out of the Florida area because one thing I've been noticing lately is that the majority of the rough weather is near the Florida coast. So out in the open water of the Caribbean, assuming there's no storm, is nice and calm and blue and tranquil and all that. And and anyway, after we finished eating and drinking some Coke, because if you didn't know, soda's actually included on a Disney cruise, whereas I think on every other cruise line, it's an upcharge item, we left the buffet and grabbed an ice cream cone and just decided to kind of like explore the areas of the ship that we hadn't been in yet, especially like the upper decks where they have like loungers and stuff and the access to the concierge lounges and whatever. I'm not sure if I'll ever pay for concierge on a Disney cruise. It's just so darn expensive. If you've gone concierge on a Disney cruise, let me know if you think it's worth it or if I should avoid it at all costs. But one thing we we discovered was the sports court and a miniature golf course. The golf course was simple, but it did have a Disney look and feel to it. And there were quite a few people up there playing. We decided not to because it was all like families and stuff and we didn't want to like rush people or make things weird. And then from there we made our way inside because we had the Beauty and the Beast show, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's the story of, you know, Belle and the Beast and the flower and all that stuff. But it was a very nice stage adaptation of that that had some really cool special effects and great acting and overall a cool vibe. But this is when we realized that maybe we we should have done the early dining and gone to the later shows because there were so many kids in this theater and babies crying and this was the first time in a show that I really was like oh boy this isn't like my usual kind of cruise crowd but it's all good we expected there to be kids on board especially like on a Halloween cruise like this I think if you're looking to try Disney but are worried about there being a bunch of kids go in the off season like in mid to late January and I have a feeling it'll be a little bit more of an adult crowd from there we went down to the pub because they had a trivia and I also bought a refillable mug and basically the way that worked is they would refill your mug as a tall, but they would price it as a pint. So you'd get, I think she said, six extra ounces, and the happy hour deals applied to the mug as well. So during happy hour, I could get a tall draft of Dos Equis for three seventy five. The trivia was 80s music, and we thought we were experts, but we were total failures. We recognized almost all the songs, but didn't know the titles or artists. And yeah, so we got like five out of 30, which was pretty embarrassing. And then that led us up to dinner. Oh, 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 oh,
right, so we're back to the room, and we got an effluent today. And Carlos said he's going to make an elephant noise. No. <laughs> You're not? No, you do it better. Oh, okay, here it goes. <laughs> um, but anyway, we also got a love note. I'm pretty sure this is the waivers for our excursion tomorrow that we have to fill out. But yeah, um, we do have a couple of things maybe for this evening. We'll decide now that we're back to the room, we might get lazy. But there's, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk soon. Hi, friends. So we're back. And after some deliberation, some debating, we decided that we might just call it a night for now because the show that we're going to go to tonight is with the same comedian that they're having as the main theater show tomorrow. So um, we could just go see him then and we'll go see him then. Um, the other thing we were going to do was like a little bit of a game show thing, but, you know, they have a bunch of those throughout the day and stuff. So since we have to get up early, we do have to wake up at like 7 tomorrow to go get ready for the excursion and stuff. So we will just... Call it a night, I guess, yeah? Yeah, we have to get up early. I mean, it's almost 10. It's about 10 till 10, so it's not like, you know, we're going to bed early or anything, but um, rather than stay up till like 11, 11.30 or later, um, we'll start bedding down now. That way we can get some actual sleep before the excursion tomorrow. And then tomorrow, more stuff. We're going to be in Cozumel tomorrow. We have the Salsa and Salsa excursion. You'll see more about that um, in tomorrow's vlog or, well, the next time you see this vlog series, uh, which will be in a couple days. But anyway, um, that's it for now. Do you have anything to add? Oh. Uh, dinner tonight, we were at Enchanted Garden. It was definitely, I think, the fanciest of the menu so far. What do you think? It reminded me of New Orleans, yeah. Yeah, it has a very, like, French garden kind of New Orleans vibe. Um, and the, the menu was actually quite high-end. Um, but was good. It was tasty. Mm -hmm. I liked everything that we had. So, um, yeah. And I think that's about it. You saw everything else earlier. So uh, we did trivia today. We hung out on the pool deck. We explored the ship a little bit more. I think we've been just about everywhere on board now. Yeah. Um, Got to go up to the off observation. Got to go. Up deck. Got to go up to the observation deck. They call the lookout on deck fourteen. But when we went there earlier, it wasn't open. So um, we got to confirm the hours for that and eventually get up there. But. Anyway, that's it for today. I want to thank you all for traveling with us. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. We'll talk soon, and y'all have a good night. Bye, guys.